नमस्कार स्वागत है आप सभी का पीएमई विद्या चैनल में आपके साथ मैं हूं मुक्ता कांडियल और आप देख रहे हैं हमारे लाइव इंटरेक्टिव सत्र ऑफ साइंस सब्जेक्ट आज हम पढ़ेंगे साइंस का एक विषय और जो टॉपिक आज हमारे सत्र के लिए रहेगा वो है हमारे पिछले एक टॉपिक का कंटिन्यूएशन है वो है वाई टू वी फॉल एल पार्ट टू और आप हमारे कार्यक्रम पीएम विद्या के चैनल नंबर नौ पर इस वक्त लाइव देख रहे हैं और हमेशा की तरह जो जो कि आज का हमारे सत्र का टॉपिक है वाई डू वी फॉल इल पार्ट टू से बढ़ाने के लिए एक एक्सपर्ट भी आज हमारे साथ जुड़े हुए हैं हमारे एक्सपर्ट हैं सुशील कुमार सर इस पी बायोलॉजी एट केंद्रीय विद्यालय अलीगंज लखनऊ उत्तर प्रदेश नमस्कार सुशील सर बहुत बहुत स्वागत है आपका सत्र में गुड आफ्टरनून मैम गुड आफ्टरनून टू ऑल ऑफ दी व्यूअर्स ऑफ दी पी एम ई विद्या बिल्कुल और जैसा कि मैंने अभी बताया आप हमारे कार्यक्रम पीएम एम विद्या के चैनल नंबर नौ पर इस वक्त लाइव देख रहे हैं तो यदि आपके किसी भी तरह के प्रश्न हो किसी भी तरह की क्वेरीज आपकी हो जो आप हमसे साझा करना चाहते हो तो हमारे फोन नंबर पर आप कॉल कर सकते हैं फोन नंबर इस वक्त आपकी टेलीविजन स्क्रीन पर शेयर हो रहा है साथ ही आप हमारे ई के द्वारा भी हमसे जुड़ सकते हैं ई एड्रेस भी इस वक्त आपकी टेलीविजन स्क्रीन पर इस वक्त फ्लैश हो रही है तो बिना किसी देरी के आज का ये सत्र हम शुरू करते हैं सीधे सुशील सर की तरफ रुक करते हैं सर पार्ट टू आज हम यहाँ पे करने वाले हैं लेकिन उसको शुरू करें आज के सत्र में आपसे रिक्वेस्ट करूंगी कि पिछले सत्र का यानी कि पार्ट वन का कोई क्रीक आप हमारे बच्चों को देते तो वो ज्यादा बेहतर है तब सर डेफिनेटली मुक्ता जी सो वी हैव डिस्कस लॉट अबाउट व्हाट इज हेल्थ एंड व्हाट इज डिजीज एंड व्हाट इज डिफरेंस बिटवीन हेल्दी एंड डिजीज इंडिविजुअल सो वी हैव डिस्कस दैट ए प्रायड ऑफ द हेल्थ दैट इज द फिजिकल मेंटल एंड सोशल दैट इज द पर्सन व्हिच इज फिजिकली मेंटली एंड सोशली If he he is is well, then he is said to be the healthy. And and there are some characteristic of the good health, and, uh, these characteristic may be followed to be good healthy. So uh, uh, there are some condition like uh, good lifestyle, uh, taking of the nutritious food as well as doing some exercise and relaxation, which are the condition essential for good health. Uh, there is <coughs> the personal and community issues are also connected with the good health so we cannot think about healthy if our surrounding is not uh, clean that is why it is we said that a person if want to be healthy then not only uh, he should remain clean but their surrounding should be also clean Uh, there is uh, there should be the good economic condition as well as uh, there is the equality uh, social equality and harmony is also affecting the uh, equally mattering the good health and uh, nowadays uh, we have discussed that there are so many of the environmental issues which are concerned so uh, we people are seeing that there are so many environmental pollution are affecting so uh, it is our duty to keep our environment also clean so that our health should remain uh, uh, good in condition so we have discussed there are the five f like uh, there should be the we should take the fluid in a uh, proper manner uh, when uh, we want to take the fluid so it should be treated and stored uh, in a good condition we should wash our hands and finger during uh, especially during current pandemic time as well as any other time so there are so many diseases which are which may spread from the our contaminated hand we should cover up the food so that the uh, flies is not even to uh, transmit the uh, fly is not able to contaminate the food Uh, we should use seasonal and clean vegetable and fruits as well as there should be the proper drainage system so uh, we have discussed that uh, if we all are following these condition then we all are in will be in a good and sound health and uh, uh, we have uh, uh, discussed that depending on the uh, uh, depending on the uh, how much time the disease is persisting the disease may be the acute disease or it may be the chronic disease so we have discussed that the cold cough typhoid and cholera uh, which usually last only for a short period around one week that is why these are the example of acute disease and on the other hand there are some disease which uh, which last for a long time 6 month to 1 year or a few year 
that is known as chronic disease like diabetes, tuberculosis, and elephantiasis, arthritis, cancer, etc. And uh, friends, uh, on the basis of the how the disease is spreading from the infected person to the healthy person, so disease may be the infectious disease or it is also known as communicable disease. And uh, on the other hand, there is the disease which are not spread from an infected person to the healthy person. So uh, such uh, diseases are known as non-infectious disease. So we have uh, just uh, uh, started to discuss about this topic and today we will discuss in detail about this. So uh, like the infectious disease is concerned, so uh, there is a famous example that is the, the corona pandemic and the coronavirus, common cold, chicken pox, mums, measles, cholera, tuberculosis, malaria, AIDS. So these are the example of the uh, disease which are comes under the category of infectious disease. Uh, that is, we can say disease where microbes are the in immediate causes are called infectious disease. This is because the microbes can spread in the community and the disease they cause will spread with them. Uh, uh, but you uh, you are uh, you are uh, going to surprise to know that that all disease spread to people coming in contact with this sick person or uh, what are the disease that are not spreading or how would a person develop those disease that do not spread by contact with a sick person. So uh, we can say that the disease uh, which uh, those diseases that do not spread by contact with the sick person are known as non-infectious disease or non-communicable disease. Uh, so uh, we can say that uh, uh, there are so many diseases uh, like there are cancer which are caused by the genetic abnormality, high blood pressure that is known as hypertension as well as excessive weight, obesity, or diabetes uh, comes under the category of non-infectious disease uh, as well as there are some disease which occurs due to the deficiency of vitamin like vitamin B uh, deficiency causes beriberi, uh, vitamin D deficiency causes rickets, vitamin C deficiency causes bleeding of the gums that is scurvy, vitamin A deficiency causes night blindness and uh, of cancer, diabetes, and hypertension. So these are these disease comes under the category of non-infectious disease. Uh, there are so many causes uh, which uh, which account for the disease. So uh, togetherly or collectively we call it pathogen. So pathogen may be the virus, pathogen may be the bacteria, pathogen may be the fungi, and pathogen may be the protozoan or helminth worm or ascal helminth worm. Uh, there are some conditions like poor health and undernourishment which also account for so many of the disease. For example, we have heard about the malnutrition uh, like marasmus and quasarco disease. Uh, uh, there, are, uh, there are the malfunctioning of the body parts and uh, uh, nowadays one of the factor that is known as environmental pollution. It is of the prime importance because environmental pollution causing so many of the disease. And uh, one group of the diseases comes under the genetic disorder, means uh, there is a defect in the gene or genetic complement which account for the disease. So uh, now <clears throat> I would like to tell you, student, that pathogens, if we uh, focus on the wide pathogen. So pathogen wide actually uh, consists of path plus gen. Path, path means uh, some, uh, some sort of the uh, pain or uh, some problem or gen means to produce karna. So any agent causing disease or discomfort, so it is known as pathogen. So uh, pathogen may be the virus, pathogen may be the bacteria, pathogen may be the fungi, pathogen may be the protozoan, pathogen may be the parasite, they may be the roundworm, tapeworm, 
और पैथोजन में भी दल पार्टिकल नोन एज प्रोटीनियस पार्टिकल नोन एज प्रायस एंड सो आई टू शो सम ऑफ दिक्चर सो यू विल बी एबल टू सी दीज पिक्चर सो दीज आर पिक्चर्स आर belong belonging to various virus like in the left hand side there is a, a, a severe acute respiratory syndrome virus which uh, is showing so uh, uh, this virus uh, is uh, nowadays uh, uh, the family of the sars virus that is the corona virus is causing uh, so many problem to be people as well as in the bottom uh, of the right hand side you would be able to see uh, there is the bacteriophage virus so it is usually uh, naturally found in the uh, water of the holi ganga uh, uh, i would like to show some of the bacteria which are supposed to be the pathogen so this is the picture of the staphylococci this bacteria which is responsible for causing the acne as well as uh, there are uh, in the right hand side there are uh, some slides uh, showing that the uh, various shape of the bacteria like one of the bacteria that you will be able to see that is known as rod shaped bacteria so it is known as bacilli uh, there are some spherical shaped bacteria so uh, this is known as cocci uh, Uh, so uh, you may be able to understand that uh, the pathogen like bacteria may be of the rod shape may be of the poma uh, shaped uh, like vibrio bacteria as well as may be like uh, round shaped like coccus bacteria or cocci or may be the helical shaped like spirillum bacteria so spirals having the spiral shape so uh, there may be the uh various shape of the bacteria uh i would like to so do and explain this picture so this picture is showing various pathogen like one of the pathogen which is known as lisbenia and it is the causative agent of the kalajar and uh, uh, second picture is showing that trypanosoma so trypanosoma is the protozoan which is responsible for causing the sleeping sickness so uh, and in the right extreme right there is a thing like body you will be able to see so uh, this is the picture of an adult round worm that is known as ascaris lumbricoides so uh, it is uh, usually found in the small intestine and uh, it is also causing be uh, people discomfort so uh, like uh, the acute and chronic disease is concerned so uh, uh, these uh, various pathogen either uh, bacteria fungi or protozoan so some of the uh, pathogen causing the acute disease and some of the pathogen causing chronic disease so uh, it, it it all uh, depends on the uh, which sort type of the bacteria is causing the infection so uh, uh, these are the example like virus uh, example is concerned so it is the common cold influenza measles mumps chicken pox uh, aids hepatitis b etc as the bacteria is concerned so there are so many bacteria like cholera typhoid tuberculosis tetanus anthrax food poisoning so uh, these bacteria Uh, like cholera bacteria is the vibrio cholerae type 5 bacteria is the salmonella type 2 bacterium tuberculosis bacteria is the mycobacterium tuberculosi and tetanus bacteria is the clostridium tetani and uh, anthrax bacteria is the bacillus anthracis so these all are the different bacteria and these all causing the uh, respective disease in the uh, today uh, we people are celebrating the rain in the various part of the india and nowadays uh, there is a rainy season from the june to the uh, september october month so in the rainy season we people is usually uh, suffered by the various sort of the skin infection so uh, various sort of the infection skin infection is caused by the fungi and uh, the disease which is caused by the fungus is collectively is known as uh, 
mucor mycosis or mycosis. So uh, uh, the disease which are caused by the fungus is known as mycosis. You have heard in uh, this disease, uh, one of the famous disease that is known as black fungus, uh, especially in the current time uh, in the so many of the corona patient. So uh, the black fungus disease is technically is known as mucor mycosis because it is caused by the mucor fungus. So uh, similarly, uh, there, is, uh, there are other fungus like aspergillus fungus causes aspergillosis and uh, uh, likewise other fungus causing so many of the disease. Uh, there are some protozoans which, causing, uh, which, uh, which are behind uh, various disease like uh, one disease known as malaria, another one is known as kalajar, amoebic dysentery, sleeping sickness. So uh, uh, these diseases usually caused by the protozoan. So you have heard about the malaria, which is, uh, accounts for the so many problems in the various parts of the country. So malaria is usually caused by the plasmodium, which is a, which is a protozoan. And it is spread by the female anopheles. Kalajar is caused by the leishmania. And similarly, sleeping sickness is caused by the trypanosoma. And amoebic dysentery is caused by the entamoeba, histolytica. So these are the various protozoan trends. And these protozoans are behind of causing various disease. So uh, you have also listened about that we uh, people usually advise to take uh, deworming tablet after uh, usually 6 to uh, 12 months. So the reason behind it that uh, we people uh, may uh, acquire infection through the contaminated food and vegetable and may be suffer from the intestinal worm or various intestinal worm infest our intestine. So uh, uh, we, uh, we should uh, take the deworming tablet in the six or month or one year uh, after. Uh, as the disease spreading is concerned, so Muktaji, uh, various disease are spreading through the air or through the water or through the vector or through the sexual contact. So as the air is concerned, so uh, usually common cold, uh, tuberculosis, pneumonia, etc. and present time uh, corona pandemic is uh, spreaded through the air or through the droplet infection. As the water is consigned, so if the contaminated water is being drink by the another person which is causing the cholera bacteria, so uh, he, or me, may, uh, he or she may suffer from the cholera. So cholera, amoebic dysentery, etc. are uh, caused by the contaminated water. Uh, there are so many mosquitoes or insects which are behind of spreading so many diseases. So uh, these diseases are known as vector-borne disease. Like you have heard about the various mosquitoes, like one is known as female anopheles, another one is known as Culex, another one is known as Aedes. So these, these mosquitoes uh, are behind the spreading of the like malaria is spreaded by the uh, uh, female anopheles. Similarly, chikungunya and dengue is spreaded by the uh, Aedes aegypti. So uh, there are flies, which is house flies. So house flies behind the spreading of the disease like typhoid, tuberculosis, diarrhea, dysentery, etc. But there are some diseases which are uh, which are spreading from one person to another person either through the contaminated blood transfusion or either if the mother is suffering from that disease and he or she give birth to uh, when mother give birth to the uh, child so uh, the child may get that virus uh, that is known as HIV virus so uh, uh, there is disease, there are disease like syphilis, like AIDS. So these disease usually spread from the sexual in, uh, contact with the disease person. So uh, this, uh, this slide is showing how we people uh, can spread the droplet infection from 
one person to another person. So that is why we are advised to please use the mask or when you are going to sneeze or cough. So please uh, use your elbow or please use any cloth so that you can put on over uh, his or her mouth. So uh, this is the reason because during the coughing and sneezing, so many droplets uh, uh, go forward and may cause the infection to other person. There are some common method of transmission of disease, like there are direct shaking of the hand or uh, taking the kiss by one pupil to the infected, if he or she is infected, so the, the disease can be spreaded. By the air droplet infection, by the indirect contact, the disease may spread, or by taking the contaminated food or by biting of the mosquito or by biting of the rabbit animal. So these are the some of the ways by which the transmission of disease occurs. So uh, as soon as the disease occurs, so uh, the, the pathogen usually uh, disease causing microbes enter the body by different means and through different organs and tissue. So microbes which enter through the nose are likely to go to the uh, our respiratory system. So like uh, uh, microbes uh, will uh, reach in the lungs, so bacteria which cause the tuberculosis of the lungs uh, comes in the category. Microbes which enter through the mouth are likely to stay in the uh, our digestive system or intestine or stomach. So bacteria which cause it typhoid or liver uh, comes in the category. A virus which causes AIDS, that is acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, enter the body through sexual organ during sexual contact and spread through the limb to all part of the body and damage the immune system. So, and virus which causes Japanese encephalitis, that is the brain fever, enters the body through the mosquito bite and goes and infect the brain. So uh, there are some principles of treatment. By any way, the pathogen enters in our body either through the nose, either, either through the mouth, or through other means. So uh, there are the principle of the treatment. So treatment of the infectious disease consists of the two steps. One step is that to reduce the effect of the disease. So this can be done by taking medicine to bring down the uh, effect of the disease like fever. So we take usually antipyretic drug like pain relieving. So we take the analgesic drug. If there is huge motion, so we take the drugs as well as uh, fluid take will also uh, take place as well as we take the bed rest. And there are the, some drugs which we people use to kill the microbes. So there are suitable antibiotics which are behind the killing of the microbes. So there are so many of the my, uh, antibiotics are available which uh, is able to kill the, uh, the microbes and uh, bacteria in our body. And uh, there it, it, it is being said by the various people that prevention is better than cure. That is why it is being insisted that we uh, please keep away from the infectious patient by using the mask or by uh, cleaning of the hand and by maintaining so much of the distance. So that is why it is the one way of the uh, uh, prevention. Or like vector one disease is concerned, we can use the mosquito net. Uh, and at the waterborne disease is concerned, we uh, can take the safe drinking water. And uh, like other uh, disease uh, is concerned, so we can uh, make the environment clean. There are the specific way of the prevention. So a specific way of the uh, prevention consists of the using of the vaccine. So we all know that vaccine is the ultimate sort or ultimate medicine of the uh, various things. So actually vaccine prepare our body so that our body fight with that disease. So there are so many vaccines are popular. Like we people are using DPT that is uh, giving immunity against diphtheria pyrolysis thickness. As well as there is the vaccine that is known as BCG which provide immunity against the tuberculosis. There is the vaccine uh, example mumps, measles and rubella. So uh, that is the MMR vaccine and present day we people are using the corona vaccine so uh, we have uh, uh, we have uh, uh, 
encounter or, or we have eradicated so many of the disease with the help of vaccine you have heard about the a common pox virus which uh, is small pox virus so small pox virus being eradicated during uh, in the uh, 1978 around the 1978 with the help of vaccine and in the present time we people are also fighting with the corona vaccine and we people are uh, going to win the our disease against the बिल्कुल सुशील सर बहुत अच्छे तरीके से आपने समझाया है यहाँ पर मोड्स ऑफ इन्फेक्शन आपने यहाँ पे बताया किस तरह से स्प्रेड होता है साथ ही किस तरह से हमको काबू कर सकते किस तरह से प्रिवेंशन इन तमाम इन्फेक्शन का हो सकता है वैक्सीनेशन की आपने बात करी बहुत पुख्ता जो समझते हैं कि जरिया हो सकता है इन तमाम इन्फेक्शन को कंट्रोल में करने का सुशील सर आपका एक बार फिर से धन्यवाद आप हमारे साथ जुड़े और आपने हमारा जो आज का सेशन था वाई डू वी फॉल एल पार्ट टू हमारे स्टूडेंट से डिलीवर कर थैंक यू सो मच सुशील सर थैंक यू और मैं अपने तमाम दर्शकों का भी धन्यवाद करना चाहूँगी जो तमाम इस वक्त हमारे साथ जुड़े रहे हमारा सेशन देखा आप जुड़े रहिए इसी तरह पीएम एम चैनल और एन ऑफिशियल से फिलहाल हम इस सत्र को यहीं पर समाप्त करें लेकिन हम जल्द हाजिर होंगे अपने अगले सत्र के साथ जो कि है वेबिनार फिलहाल मुझे दीजिए इजाजत नमस्कार